Okay, let's talk about how to learn math at home. So the purpose of this video uh, is to really help um, the situation where millions and millions of students are finding themselves uh, where in the situation where they have to learn math at home. Schools are shutting down, uh, things are getting pretty serious uh, right now, and um, you know I think that there's a lot of people out there that are looking for you know guidance parents or students to you know they're they maybe <laughs> haven't had to learn kind of in a remote way or independent type of uh, fashion or learn from home so if you're concerned about that I'd like to be able to share with you uh, three big uh, main ideas um, that will definitely help you so a little bit about myself I'm the founder of tablet class math it's an online learning program uh, we've been out there for 13, 14 years. My background is I'm a math teacher, middle school, high school math teacher. I have a degree in math, master's degree, classroom experience. I'm a parent. So I've been in the education business for a long time, okay? Uh, the business of helping people. But my focus um, has really been independent learning, distance learning, etc. So I've been developing expertise and refining and building uh, with my team. I know we'll, uh, just continue to improve the best online learning program we can for, for middle and high school mathematics. So if you're interested in checking out my um, uh, program, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video. You can check that out if you like. By the way, too, um, I got a YouTube channel. I'll talk about that in a while. Obviously, I'm on YouTube, but I literally have hundreds and hundreds of videos that can help you out. But I'll, I'll get into that in a second. But I want to do is um, give you three main ideas that will definitely help you out to be successful. Um, learning math at home. If you find yourself in a situation where, where millions of, of students are are definitely in this situation right now. So let's go ahead and get into the first uh, main idea and that is listen to your teacher. This is so important, okay? So listen to your teacher. So your teacher I'm sure is going to give you directions, some sort of uh, procedure, uh, assignments, whatever the case is, uh, to to, to work, at, work on while at home. Make sure you have this information. And then additionally, you have to make sure you're in communication with your teacher. Now, most of your teachers out there, okay, now if, uh, if I'm talking to the parent or the student, this applies, okay, so uh, uh, if you're the, the parent, okay, I can tell you right now, your child's teacher almost you know, all of them already have some sort of website set up or something along those lines, some sort of way where you can uh, connect with them. But you need to take responsibility and make sure you find out or you or you know, absolutely know how you're going to be communicating with uh, your teacher. OK, so you need to stay in communication so you can continue to get follow on direction from your teacher. So if your teacher hasn't had uh, some sort of uh, website or something you know, kind of being set up. I'm sure 99% of them are in a process of doing that uh, using uh, either some sort of social media, uh, email, whatever the case, some way, somehow, uh, your teacher will have some sort of um, way that they want to communicate with you. So find out what that is so you can continue to get guidance from your teacher. But you can't just be like, well, my teacher didn't tell me this, my teacher didn't tell me that. Uh, and then like three, four weeks later, be like, oh, yeah, I didn't know that. I, they, you didn't tell me that. That's not that's not a good attitude, right? You have to take responsibility now. You're going to have to take initiative and be like, okay, how do I get a hold of my teacher? Call the school. Call your teacher. Like, do whatever you need to do to make sure you're in communication so you can listen specifically to what your teacher wants you to do. So this is a huge um probably the very first main idea that I really want you to like you know embrace okay all right so let's move on to the second main idea here and that is get into a routine you need to follow a schedule so just because you're at home the worst thing you could do is just get distracted and 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 not really have an organized way of learning so you now need to think that you're home the best you can and you got I'm sure you have other things going on in your home but in some way, somehow, try to get into a routine and follow a schedule just as if you were kind of in school. So let's say at 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, you're going to learn math. Uh, maybe from 11 to noon, you're going to study your biology. Whatever the case is, try to construct a schedule. And if possible, try to 
maybe go to a particular place in your in your home a room a kitchen table whatever the case is go to a place follow a schedule okay really strongly suggest that because that's going to keep you in a, a you know structured and organized think about it you kind of take it for granted you walk into a school and you're like okay you walk into this gigantic building and what do you have you have uh, these lo specific locations, classrooms, we call them, right? And at this time, you need to be here. The bell rings, you go here, right? Then, then, then you spend an hour over here, bell rings, you go here, and then you can just continue to move on. So this is like, you know, you're organized. Your day is kind of forcibly, <laughs> you know, you may not like it, but, you know, you're organized and you're going to spend this much time with this subject, this much time with this subject. You need to create this at home. Um, so if you're a parent, you need to work with your child uh, and get all the information and build out some sort of uh, uh, schedule that works for your family situation. So it might be, you know, you might do one or two hours in the, the morning and maybe one or two hours at night. Whatever the case is, just get a structured routine. You need a daily routine and then you need kind of like a, a weekly routine as well. In terms of mathematics, I would strongly suggest that you're working at least one hour per day one hour per day. You may need to work a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but you should definitely be working on math every day. And I think one hour is a good rule of thumb to maybe like learn a lesson, uh, do your homework, work on projects, review, whatever the case is. But just don't don't go like, oh, I did all my homework for the week. I can just take the week off. That's a bad, that's, that's not a good approach. So if you're a parent and your child tells you, well, I did all my homework for the week. I just, I, you know, I worked on it all three hours on Monday and now I have nothing to do on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's bad, bad, bad. Okay. Um, you want to be like, okay, then review your notes for one hour a day. You need to stay immersed in the subject consistently uh, in a set period of time. That's why a routine and a schedule is so important. So develop one that works for you. I would say make it as, you know, similar to what you were doing in school. Okay. So, but again, of course you have a lot of other things now uh, that might variables, you know, because you're uh, at home. Um, so factor all that in and then come up with something that works for you, but you can, you need to get organized and structured and kind of paint a, 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 uh, a daily schedule or weekly schedule and even a monthly kind of schedule to kind of see where you're, you're going to be going like a uh, milestones like okay week one I'm going to uh, uh, week one and two I'm going to finish chapter six weeks uh, um, uh, three and four I'm going to be into chapter seven whatever the case is you know kind of see where you're going and also you know continue to listen to your teacher to see where they expect you to be as well all right Let's move on to my last main idea here, and that is I strongly suggest that you find and use an online math video program or programs. Now, you might say, oh, well, yeah, of course, you know, I have a math video program, uh, and I'm suggesting that because I have one. Yeah, well, listen, you know, I've been a classroom teacher. You know, uh, I, I've, I've work currently. Our program helps support uh, teachers in schools and people who independently learn uh, on their own, like homeschoolers, you need to embrace technology. It, wor it, it can work, but you need to find a program out there um, that works for you. And there's a lot of different programs. Maybe it's my program, okay? Uh, my focus is in middle and high, in high school math and in uh, test preparation, et cetera. Uh, but I don't really focus on, let's say, elementary school uh, programs. But there are programs out there, and I stress video okay um, you know I'm sure you're gonna be taking home your textbook which is fine but if you can get a video program where you have a teacher explain things to you that is that's really really rich because a teacher what is it what is you know I want to kind of just go to this real basic concept here's a textbook okay here's your textbook now what's now you want to talk about the importance of a teacher. Here you are, the student. That's a pretty big textbook, right? <laughs> so here you are, the student. Why is it that if we just like go to go to a school and somebody just passes out the algebra textbook and say, "Okay, go home, read it, and then come back, we'll test you," and you're like, "Okay, well, all the information's in here," so you're like, "Well, that's not like enough, right?" Well, all the information the teacher is going to teach you is inside the textbook. So what's the deal with the teacher? Well, the teacher, here's you. Well, let's say here's the, the, the teacher, and here is you. 
the teacher, here's at the algebra textbook, is the translator. They're going to take this information and they're going to translate it to you. They're going to teach, let's give you some arms there. They're going to teach you in a way, hopefully, that you like and understand. Okay? They're not going to just say, hey, just read the textbook. Because, you know, none of us really want to you know, kind of just read a, read a book. That's very difficult. What you want to do is get explanations. Say, uh, have someone demonstrate how to do problems. Hey, this is how this problem works. This, this is what's really more important. This is not as important right now in your education. That's the whole idea of having access to a teacher. Your teacher is an expert. They know how to explain things. Hopefully you got a good teacher, right? So um, there's all types of uh, online math uh, programs out there. I would sh um, focus on the ones that um, have uh, video. Now YouTube is a good place, uh, of course, to, to get uh, math videos. Um, again, my particular YouTube channel, I think it's the time of this video, I have like 118,000 subscribers, millions and millions of videos, or views of my videos. Why? Because I've been on YouTube for 10 years. I'm passionate about helping people. I put, I think I have close to 600 videos posted at this point. I'm posting all the time. So whether it's a, a channel like mine or other type of programs, find something to supplement uh, what your teacher wants you to learn. So if you're learning about the order of operations, um, or some other subject, and you're like, yeah, I want to kind of have, find some additional information. You, I would definitely supplement what your teacher's teaching with this, and I think your your teacher would have no problem with that. But it's going to take um, it's going to uh, take you and your parent or whatever some initiative, uh, or if you're a college student or an adult, you have to take the initiative to find a program that, that you like. That there's a it's it's te that a, there's an actual bona fide professional teacher. Um, that knows what they're talking about, knows this material. You got to be careful because a lot of vet math videos out there. I'm not saying someone who's not a teacher can't, you know, help you. That for sure, there's people that that could definitely help you. But you got to be careful in, in particular topics because teachers, especially it's like algebra, they know how to teach a curriculum. Okay, and uh, so that, anyways, my point is, try to find a program that's um, that has teachers that are you know are developing and teaching in these particular videos um, and there's lots of them there's free stuff uh, uh, out there there's membership programs whatever the case is whatever you do don't uh, if you're going to do a, a membership type of deal uh, or subscription plan don't do anything until you've previewed and um, tested the material out and make sure that hey you like it again if you're interested in my uh, program tab class math um, I'll leave the link in the description of this video. You could check that out. Middle and high school math courses and other type of courses. Um, there's plenty of previews, uh, much more in depth uh, to what I do on YouTube. Uh, matter of fact, I work with schools, I work with public schools, charter schools, homeschoolers, all sorts of stuff because I ha I'm a certified math teacher. Okay, so um, what, how I teach, the structure of my program, which we, me and my, myself and my team have been developing and improving for years and years and years and years, it takes time to build up a great program. It's not something that you just, you know, do. It's you, you got to really continue to work on it and, and strive to um, uh, continue to be better. That's my goal so I can help as many students as possible. But the thing is with Tablet Class Math, the way I teach, the way my program is structured, is going to be very, very much like what you would find in a classroom, okay? Because I am a classroom teacher, uh, certified, etc. I understand how to construct lesson plans, all that type of good stuff. So how I teach the feel of my program is going to be very much like, um, you know, what you would get in your high school, middle school, whatever the case might be, college, etc. All right, I'm going to leave you with one last um, idea here, and that is you can absolutely be successful learning math at home. These are extraordinary times that we're going through right now, um, and, you know, it's going to be up to you. You have to now take the initiative. If you want to continue to learn math, if you, if you want to excel, you can. You can do this, okay? Um, but, you know, the purpose of this video is to give you main ideas to embrace and really the attitude of just you know um, you know kinda like thinking positive you know the best you can uh, the way you think about how things are gonna be are generally the way things kinda uh, turn out and if you stay you know focused on your education keep yourself busy 
uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that, wow, you know, you, not only were you, you know, away from school, that you actually, uh, you know, learned a lot. Like, and you, you didn't miss a beat in your education. You can do this. You can, and, and you might find out, uh, I think a lot of you are going to find out that you actually like learning independently and, 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 and uh, using technology. This is kind of definitely the way of the future. I think there's just going to be more hybrid programs um, for situations, not only like this, but just for uh, all types of different uh, scenarios. And that's, that's for another uh, video to discuss. But believe me when I tell you, I think you as a student or you as a parent, this is a time for you to reflect on, okay, how how do I really, uh, you know, what do I need to do in order to be able to learn independently or remotely using technology, okay? Because a lot of this is, uh, is going to fall on you and, uh, you know, you can really take, uh, you, you can be in control. You just don't have to be, well, I don't know what to do that type of thing okay and I can tell you right now for being in this for years and years and years and years you can absolutely be successful uh, without sacrificing the quality of, edu of your education that's really really important a lot of there's been a myth out there for many uh, years that oh well, if you learn remotely distance learning it's not as good you're you're gonna sacrifice your education that's not true anymore maybe years and years ago you wouldn't get the same quality of education but I could tell you over the last several years with uh, with the internet and all this technology you can get a high quality comprehensive math education uh, learning independently at home absolutely all right so I want to wish you well I want to wish you all the best um, you know uh, you know these are these are times where it's uh, it's just you know historic you know what we're all going through but I think if you put your focus on, you know, make it the most of um, your time, you know, and, and learning something, developing your skills, et cetera, you know, that's a good use of, of your, your, your focus and your brain uh, power because you don't want to just stagnate, okay? So if you're a student, keep learning. Uh, if you're a parent, you know, you can, you can do this. Um, and I will try to be here to help. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to the description, or I'm sorry, uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video to my math learning program, Tablet Class. You can go to tabletclass.com or TC Math Academy. Here, I'll just write this down. So Tablet Class will redirect you tabletclass.com. So our, uh, my program is called Tablet Class Math or TC Math Academy. TC Math Academy. I'm not going to spell it all out. You can just kind of do TC, TC Math Academy. We are Academy. I'm a terrible speller. My <laughs> and very sloppy. I'm sorry. TC Math Academy or ta uh, tabletclass.com. Again, I'll leave the, uh, descript the link in the description of this video. If you go to either one of those sites, it will take you there, and you can check out uh, my various courses, uh, etc. I, I do offer um, a lot. Um, again, um, you know. Leave me some feedback. I'm going to try to uh, make more videos, uh, if nothing else, to try to keep you, um, you know, motivated uh, as we kind of go through this. But I wish you all the best. You would, you, you can definitely uh, uh, keep learning math. Absolutely. Uh, with that being said, have a great day.